This video clip is part of the EPFL introductory course on information computing and communication. It is the third in a set of video clips on computer architecture. Given the assembler language defined in the first video clip and the von Neumann architecture defined in the second one of this series, the present video clip bridges the gap between them by explaining how assembler language instructions can be encoded as binary numbers that computers are able to decode and understand as they would any number or other piece of binary information. Software programs, naturally called assemblers, are able to take an algorithm or program written in assembler and turn it into a sequence of binary numbers representing that algorithm so that computers can decode and execute it. An algorithm in binary form is called an object program directly executable by computers. How to achieve such binary encoding of assembler instructions is in fact quite simple. Most assembly languages have fewer than 256 different instructions so that 8 bits are quite sufficient to assign a different binary code to each instruction. Similarly, 4 bits are sufficient to be able to denote one among 16 different registers. Since the largest instructions refer to two operand registers and one result register, this requires three times four bits, in other words, 12 bits. Some computers may have 32 or even 64 registers, but even that many would require only one or two extra bits per register, meaning that 15 or 18 bits would be enough to designate two operands and one result register. All the above still leaves enough free bits to encode numbers to be loaded into registers. In summary, 32 or 64 bits are plenty enough to fully identify one among hundreds of instructions together with its target result register and its operands, whether they be registers or given numbers. Thus, for instance, a binary number such as shown on this slide, which is the decimal number equivalent 305,336,320 is a possible encoding for the instruction add into R3 the sum of R3 and R1. The original assembler program can thus be encoded and would be translated into the binary object program shown on the right side of this slide. Given the encoding described in this video clip, the inside of the instruction decoding block in the computer architecture becomes easy to imagine. It merely takes the bits of each instruction as it comes out of the instruction memory and distributes them to the proper target unit, register bank, arithmetic unit, instruction pointer, and its associated switch.